Hello, everyone. And finally, after everything with the entities, we get to finish our level loader. But I want to make some changes to the level loader. And I kind of want to do the same thing that we are doing with animations and have the level as a folder and then everything for the level would be inside that folder so much like we did with animations for the player for example all the frames are located in the directory and that's kind of what I want to do with the levels here so I'm going to rename them and put them in a folder and I'll be right back okay I'm back and all I did was get rid of test level in the front of these PNG files here and I just moved them into a test level folder. This way it won't be the folder won't get too large much like it would with the animations. So let's get started on the world. So again we're going to have to change this so tile sheet it's not going to be this directory anymore and instead the way I have it set up is we're just going to replace this underscore right here with a slash so let's go ahead and run this make sure nothing bad has happened and nothing bad has happened. That's good. So I want to show you my entity sheet real fast. And this is the entity. This is a color of red and it's at the index of one, meaning that will be the player. If you don't want to do uh, images, you can do text files, but that is completely up to you. I'm not going to do that. And he is going to be spawning inside of the house. So let's get started loading in these entities. Remember this line that we had when we implemented tile sheets, well, we're going to uncomment that. And I'm going to replace this underscore here with a slash as well. And now we have entity sheet. All right, now under color tile sheet here, I'm going to create another interay, and I'm going to call it color entity sheet. And this will equal to entity sheet. All right, finally, get RGB zero zero width height null zero and width. Now we have all the colors that we will need for our entity. All we need to do now is get our entities. So I'm going to first start off with a transform because we are going to need a transform for our entity. And I'm also going to create an int right here. And I'll call it entity index this will equal to color entity sheet at x plus y times width and we'll shift it over 16 bits it's basically the same line up here just with color entity sheet instead of color tile sheet All that's left. Oh, and we'll also need 
the alpha channel as well. So same thing as last time, except we're shifting this over 24 bits instead of 16. This will be the alpha channel that we get instead of the red channel. Oops, not what I wanted to do. All we need to do is test if the alpha channel is greater than zero. And if it just so happens to be greater than zero, then we can add our entity. So I'll use a switch statement here. And we'll switch between the entity index. Case one will be the player and default will be nothing. All right, so now let's get on to adding our player. If it just so happens to be greater than zero, the alpha channel, then we'll set a transform, our transform, to a new transform. We'll also transform pos x equals x and transform pos y equals negative y. This will set the entity to the right position in the world much like it shows within our image file here. Next we'll just create a player with the transform and we'll add what is it called again? Entities. And we'll add the player to entities. Or player. Alright. So this is good. Oh, don't forget to get rid of that. This is good. This isn't good. Entity. It's not called entity. It's called entities, right? Oh, it's called entities. All right. That makes more sense than just entity anyways. Well, he should have been inside of the house. And I think I know why. You have to multiply these by 2. There we go. Now he's in the right spot. But if you notice, the camera starts off at the top left and now has to move all the way down to the player. I don't like that. I don't like that. And what we can do is have world take a camera as an argument there. Okay, so now that we have the camera in the constructor of the world, all we need to do is we need to go into the player and copy this camera position here. Just copy it. And we'll paste it here in the world because this is the player and the player has the camera following him and we want to set to be exactly what the set method wants it to be okay so that's all we need there so basically this will set the camera to the player's position. So now when we set it, when we start it up, it, it'll it start with the player there. 
and it'll start with the camera centered at the player, which is what we wanted the whole time. So now we can load in entities, and yeah. Although I'm sure there is a better way than using a switch statement. Pretty sure there is, but this is good for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Now that we have finished our awesome level. Sorry, I'm just going to put him at a different spot. I think I'll put him all the way down at the bottom right of the map. Why isn't it? Oh. There we go. Save that. And there he is. Oh my goodness. He's at the far bottom right hand corner of the whole map. And there's the house.